Hey guys, so you wanna start trading stocks and ETFs, but you have a bit of a problem. You can't use Robinhood because you're Canadian. So what do you do? Luckily, you still have options. Wealth Simple Trade is Canada's closest equivalent to the American Robinhood trading app that makes it super easy and free to trade stocks and ETFs on the market. This is the best place to start if you're a complete beginner, you wanna start investing, but you don't wanna overcomplicate things. My name is Bree, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to get started selling stocks and ETFs in Canada using Wealth Simple Trade. So if you're ready to dip your toes in the stock market, Come on, let's go, let's get started. Now, apps like Robinhood and Wealth Simple Trade are such a game changer in the investing world because getting in the stock market with traditional brokers was more expensive, especially for beginners because you paid a commission on every trade that you made. Now, this doesn't matter too much if you are dropping 10K in the stock market at once and you pay a fee of five or $10 to do that. But if you're new, if you don't have a ton of money to drop in and you wanna say contribute $100 per week, getting charged a $10 commission fee on that each time really hurts and it really makes it hard to make those gains and grow your investments. So for example, looking at TD Direct's commission for placing trades, it is a standard $9.99 per trade. So that means every time you place an order to buy or to sell, you're getting dinged with that $9.99. But luckily with Wealth Simple Trade, it is a no commission app. So that means you aren't paying any fees whenever you make a trade, whether that's buying, whether that's selling, it doesn't cost you anything. There is one little caveat with that and I will get to that later. But for now, let's stop talking about that and pull up the actual Wealth Simple app and I'll walk you through the process of getting started. First things first, you're gonna need to go and download the Wealth Simple Trade app from the app store. Search Wealth Simple and make sure that you're downloading the Wealth Simple Trade app. As you can see, Wealth Simple has multiple apps. They have Wealth Simple Trade, Wealth Simple Invest, Wealth Simple Cash. They've got a bunch of different apps you can use for various financial purposes. Once you do, go ahead and open it up. And the first time you log into the app, it'll walk you through the process of signing up and starting your account. Follow the instructions on screen to get that done, and then you can move on to the next step. You'll also follow the instructions to set up a connection to your bank account, so then you can quickly and easily fund your account from your Canadian bank at whatever institution you happen to be with. So the first thing you wanna do once you're all set up is to create an account to fund with. The default account is a personal account, um, but I signed up here with a TFSA because I have contribution room and I can contribute to that and not get taxed on any of the gains that my investments make. In Canada, the TFSA is a registered account. You have a certain amount of contribution room that you can add to that account each year. So you do wanna make sure you don't go over whatever that is. This program came into play in 2009. So if you haven't contributed to your TFSA yet at all, you might have quite a large contribution room. So you can put a lot of investments in there and not get taxed on any of the gains that you make. So in order to open an account, you wanna go up to this little person icon, go to accounts, and then you can choose what to open. You can see I've already got a personal and a TFSA account opened, but if I also wanted to open an RRSP account, I could click the plus button and follow the prompts to open that account. Once you've set up your account, the next step is to fund that account. So you're gonna connect that with your bank account and then decide how much you wanna transfer over to start investing with. So to do that, again, we wanna click the little person button in the top left, go to funding, add funds, and then choose which account we wanna fund. So I'm gonna add in some more into my TFSA. And right now, Wealthsimple has an instant funding limit of $250. So I can transfer in up to $250 into my account and it'll show up instantly. So if I click on this little information button, you can see that you can deposit up to $250 instantly without holds and that resets after three days have passed. Otherwise, if you wanna put in more than that, you still can, but it's going to take a little longer for you to get your funds. So it's usually around around three to five businesses for those funds to show up in your Wealthsimple account. So I'm going to deposit $100. It's going to let you choose the account. I'm going to choose that, submit deposit, and wait for that to go through. So that's it. I've deposited my $100 and I'm ready to start trading. So once your funds have been transferred over to Wealthsimple, if I scroll down on the main page, you can see this available to trade section. And that's going to show you the money you have that hasn't been invested yet in any stocks or ETFs. But let's take a look at this main homepage. So at the top, it shows you how much you have invested 
in your Wealthsimple Simple trading account. And you can toggle this graph to look at the performance over time. So from one week to a month, three to a year, just to see where your investments are at. If I scroll down a little farther, it shows my portfolio. So these are the ETFs that I've invested in. I have these three. And you can toggle between today's price and how much your specific investment is worth. So if I go to total value, then it shows how much I have invested in each of these ETFs. And you can toggle this between your different accounts. So say I had a TFSA and also a personal account, I can look at that separate graph as well. Now that you're a little more familiar with the app, with the interface, let's go ahead and buy some stocks. So in order to do that, we want to go up here to the search icon. And what I like about Wealthsimple Trade is that it allows you to browse the different stock options and ETFs that they have on the platform. And you can search by specific categories if you're looking for something specific. I'm going to go look here at the top and you can see there's a top 100 on trade, top, top Canadian stocks, top US stocks and find something to invest in through that. So let's go take a look at the top 100 on trade. And one thing to keep in mind here, and this goes back to that caveat I told you about in the beginning, the one time where you do get charged fees on this app. And you'll see here for every single stock on here, it shows you what currency it's in. So Air Canada is in Canadian dollars and AMC Entertainment is in USD. Tesla is also USD, GameStop USD. And that is the caveat with this app is that trading anything with Wealthsimple in Canadian dollars is free, but they do charge a currency exchange fee if you are buying US stocks. That currency conversion fee right now is 1.5% on each transaction. So say you're buying a Tesla stock, you would get charged a 1.5% on buying that. And then once you went and sold that stock, you would also get charged 1.5% again on that transaction. So that is just something to keep in mind. I personally stick to buying Canadian stocks on this app. If you want to purchase American stocks and save money on currency conversion fees, I do recommend using something like Questrade and doing Norbert's Gambit in order to avoid those fees. But that's a topic for another day. So let's continue on and actually buy an ETF. So the main one that I've been investing in is VGRO. Look on that. So this is Vanguard's growth ETF portfolio. So this is a basket of a bunch of different stocks on the market. So I can go, I can take a look at how well that stock has been performing over different periods of time and also take a look at what I'm already holding. So I already have six shares of this valued at $189. So let's buy one share of VGRO. So I'm going to click buy. I want to put it into my TFSA. So make sure that's selected. And this stock right now is trading at $31 and 50 cents. So I am able to buy three shares of this stock right now with the amount of money I have in the app. So I'm going to place this order as a market buy. So if you click here at the top, there are three different options. There's the market buy, in which you enter the number of shares you want to purchase and the order will be filled at the best available price on the market. Remember the market is always fluctuating. So if this trade isn't going through right away, the price might fluctuate just a little bit. Now, instead of that, you could also place a limit buy in which you choose the highest price per share that you're willing to pay. So say you're waiting for the stock to drop down to say $30 instead of what that now is $31.50. If I put in a limit buy for $30, well, simple trade isn't going to place that order and buy that stock for me until it reaches $30. That way you can control at what price you want to buy. If it never goes down to $30, the app will not purchase that stock. And then the third option is a stop limit buy, which lets you choose a price for the stock. And when that price reaches this price, your order is converted to a limit order. I haven't played around with that one yet. So I mostly just do market buys and I invest a little bit every two weeks. So let's keep this at market buy. I'm going to buy three shares. Let's click on continue. And it just reminds you before you complete this, that keep in mind that the market prices are constantly changing and quotes to see in the app are delayed by 15 minutes. So that means the price you see it at right now might change a little bit before the order is actually filled. So the default on Wealth Simple Trade is a 5% ceiling. So that means if the market wildly fluctuates and the price jumps up more than 5%, then it will cancel the order to buy. So you don't end up spending a lot more than you expected. If it's within that 5% range, then the order will still go through. So I'm going to click continue, just review my order and confirm. So now my order has been sent. I am done. And there you have it. That is how you buy a stock or ETF on Wealth Symbol. So you can see, I just got a notification saying that my order is complete. A really important thing to remember is that your orders are only going to go through when the markets are actually open and the markets are open Monday to Friday from 930 to 430 EST. So 
If you are placing an order on the weekend, you can place that order, but just remember that that order isn't going to be filled until Monday morning. And as long as that price hasn't jumped and gone up more than 5%. But just something to keep in mind that if it is after 4 p.m. on a weekday or on a weekend, your order is not gonna be filled until the next morning that the markets are open. So that covers buying. Let's look at selling. This is just as simple, it's just as easy. So you can go down to your portfolio, click on the stock or ETF that you wanna sell. So if I was gonna sell a share or a few shares of my Vanguard Growth ETF portfolio, I can go here, click on the sell button, and then you wanna choose which account you wanna sell from. But I just have them in my TFSA, so I'm gonna click next. And then simply, again, you can choose what type of order you want this to be. You can do market sell, limit sell. The difference here with the limit sell is that you choose the lowest price per share you're willing to sell at. So say right now this stock is at $31.50. Maybe I don't want to sell it until it's at $33. So I can put in 33 and then this isn't going to sell any of my stocks until that price is hit. That way I can choose how much I want to sell my stocks for instead of selling it at what it is right now. But I'm going to do a simple market sell and say I want to sell three stocks, go to continue. And then you want to go here and confirm your order when you're ready to go. I don't actually want to sell that. So I'm just going to hit the back button and not confirm that. But once that goes through, it works the same. You'll get a notification when it goes through and the money will show up in your available funds. And that's basically how you use Wealthsimple Trade. Let me know what you think. Was it easy? Was it confusing? Personally, I find the interface is super simple, super easy to use. And especially for beginners, this is a great way to get started investing and growing your wealth. Of course, it's best practice to hold these things for the long term. Over the long term, the market goes up on average. What is it? 7%, 8%, 9 somewhere in that range between 7 and 9% is the average that the market goes up. So over say 25 years, your investment is going to go up quite substantially. But if you haven't started yet with Well Simple Trade, you can use the link in the description below to sign up and you'll receive two free stocks valued at up to $4,500 when you sign up and fund your account. It's a great way to kickstart your investing journey and start building up that portfolio. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share it with a friend who could also benefit from these videos. Is there something I missed talking about in this video? Are, you, are there any questions you have about using Well Simple Trade? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to answer those questions for you and chat about money, investing and all of that fun stuff. Otherwise, keep on watching and check out one of these videos next. And I will see you guys next time.